Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can utilize merge kit to merge large language models or the LLMs. You know, so I'm going to show you both programmatically and non-programmatically. So if you are someone who wants to, you know, try it out and try to create, you know, uh, a small mixture of experts model by merging multiple models or if you just want to try it out how to merge models i will also show you that how you can use merge kit gui gui graphical user interface which is on hugging face space and i'll show you how you can do it everything non-programmatically i'll also show you programmatically you know in google collab i already have a video on how to merge llms using merge kit i will give the link in description that is more programmatical friendly this is going to be both you know it's a combination let's jump in and see how we can do that now if you look at here on my screen i'm already on the github repo uh, the collab notebook okay so let me just go a bit up and show you okay uh, before showing this i'll show you this is the this is the github repository of merge kit by rcai okay and you can see it says tools for merging pre-trained large language models now this that is their github repository they have shown you how to clone this how to go inside the folder install the requirements that i will also show you let it first it's merging right now we'll talk about that but let me first show you how you can also do it non-programmatically so i'm going to go inside rcai okay it will show me here let's go to any of the rcai repository and then go to the home page now it says rcai empowers businesses to train deploy and continuously improve proprietary specialized secure and scalable slms within their environment so all the credit goes to rcai and the creators or the other creators of merge kit the and all the people who have supported this the entire community the credit goes to them for building this fascinating uh, framework or tool to work with come to spaces guys now in spaces you have to open two things one is merge kit gui and the merge kit config generator the flow is like this you have to select at least two llms to merge you can select n number of llms depending on how what kind of infra or compute you have once you select you can see the execution has failed probably for this one programmatically we'll see why because of the runtime disconnected that's why we'll again connect and again do it that's not a problem now what i was saying is that once you select two llms at least or more than two llms you need to create a yaml file which is nothing but your config file the configuration and I'll show you how does the configuration looks like. Okay, now you need a config file and then you're just going to use merge kit library to run a CLI command to just, you know, uh, merge the models. Okay. And th that's how it works. Now, non-programmatically, you can use these two. It's opening right now, let it open. And let's talk about programmatically first. You have to clone you can see i have cloned merge kit i have cd inside it and then i have you know looking at present working directory blah 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 installing it and then i have hugging face cli login i created a yaml file and then yeah i was just merging it and then it's got disconnected for whatever regions and that is fine okay cool mm, yeah now i will run it all again so let me just run this quickly to present working directory i have to do a cd and pip install hyphen q and then i'll just log in blah 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 this will work now if you look at here this is your config generator as i said the workflow you start with first with the config so you need a configuration file right so i'll show you everything through this space because programmatically we already have a video but i want to show you how you can do it without writing code okay that's the plan now here i'm going to select uh let me just run this guys quickly just give me a moment okay this looks nice i already probably have to do that let me just get my key from here probably i would have done notebook login that is that would have been fine okay access tokens i'm going to take the right one you have to paste it here you have to do enter again it will ask you if you need that 
and you are logged in and I assume that I have the config you can see I have config YAML I'm just gonna run this now once I'm running it let's come here and show you the main thing in the model here what you have to do you have to select your model and let's keep llama 3 because llama has been doing good so I'm gonna do llama 3 by meta AI so let's select that uh hugging face the indexing has not been that good okay uh, uh hugging face meta llama yes i'm gonna take this 8b and 8b instruct let's merge these two so let's first copy this you can see i want to merge these two llm i'll come to config generator i'll paste it here and i have selected one I'll remove this thingy and I'll just gonna put instruct keep this as default this is the layer range that is fine okay now I'm gonna select a merge method if you want to know about merge method you can read the uh, research paper there are slope there are linear there are arithmetic there are a lot of other ways you can do it you know uh, pass throughout blah 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 now I'm gonna rely on as default let's keep that as default and you can keep a base model what is your base model that you want to select between these two so I'm gonna keep this as a base model whatever model I have here okay this becomes my base model and I'm gonna keep meta llama 38b okay uh, self attention this looks fine let me just read this uh, this D type is also fine as B float 16 value 0 0 0.5 0 0.3 0 0.71 filter is MLP that is fine 1 0 0.5 0 0.7 0 0.3 I'm just I'm taking looking at my notes I think this is good so as keep this as default and now just just click on create config YAML once you click on create config YAML you can find out this okay and let's just download this here okay and it's by one little coder so guys the credit goes to him you know so he's a fellow youtuber have been doing really great for the entire community now once we have downloaded this yaml file okay we have this yaml file over here you can see file.yaml okay now we'll use that okay we'll, we can we can also copy it let's copy this now once you copy it you come here in the other gui which is merge kit gui which says the fastest way to perform a model merge specify a yaml configuration file and a hf token and this app will perform the merge and upload the merge model to your user profile so you do not have to do programmatically as we have been running in the other cell on the collab notebook whatever we have generated from here you know you can just paste it here so let's just paste that once you paste it you can just paste it also and you can also you know specify by you can load the file as well but i'm just going to paste it here now once you paste it guys you need an hf token and i'm going to use the right token make sure you have right privilege and just paste it here as an hf right token you can see it says settings token now you can give a repo name so let's give a, a repo name here so i'm going to say llama3 base slope or let me write instruct Okay, and then write slope and this looks good okay and i'm just going to, just going to click on merge you can see it's happening it will take a bit of time you know once you see that in your term uh, in your hugging face repo it takes a bit of time to get that done now i'll pause the video here and come back once this is done guys As you can see that our merge has been at least successfully completed on notebook first we're going to first look at notebook and then we'll go on the uh, gui uh, on the space that is running but here you can see it has been successfully uh, merged and which is here in this merge folder let me just expand that a bit so you can look at the merge folder which kind of contains your config which contains your config yaml you know a different other file safe tensors you know tokenizer blah 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 now what we're gonna do here guys we're gonna create you know a file so let me just show you let's create a new file and i'm going to call this as create underscore model underscore card i'm going to create a model card you can also push it from here programmatically if you want to do that let's let's open this i'm going to go on my github gist let me go to my github gist i already have created a gist just to save some time okay now uh where is model card here is the model card now let's you know uh, click on raw 
okay and once you do raw you can just control c and come back here and just paste here so i'm just gonna paste this you can just control s and this is your model card dot pi and i'm just going to save this okay now this is this looks good to me okay uh ooh, yeah and now i'm just going to close this and what you can do you can just pro and meanwhile let's let me just write it and then go to create underscore model underscore you can see this file over here let's first look at this here what's happening no not this one GUI. yes you can you can see it's happening it's it, it will take a bit of time so let's let it happen okay because i am on a hundred they also run on a hundred but they have more computer more traffic on that you can see uh ah, create model card why did why did it say file config dot yaml written successfully okay okay create model card create yaml this is fine this is fine okay this is cool you can also do upload to hf we can upload this directly to hf as well from here using hugging face api but we'll do that i have the code here probably if i go back to my gist if you open this gist you can just go raw control a control c if what if what happens if i run like run it like this okay but probably you cannot get this from here okay oh os.get env hf token we'll try this out let's first look at this GUI. if we are done we still not done okay so it's taking a bit of time and if you come back here uh, let me just copy this go to my profile you will find out that something has been created that's called llama 3 base instruct slurp now if you open this you'll find out probably there is nothing right now okay you can see there is nothing inside but this will be populated once this part is done once this is done it will get populated you can see you can see it over here now waiting for this and you can find out different examples of yaml which is already here okay uh wizard math you know uh, biomistral and blah 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 okay uh and the credit goes to maxim laboni you can see he has contributed a lot guys when it comes to merging or creating mixture of experts model okay but we're waiting for this same way you can also do it for programmatically if you just run this you will be able to do that i have my hf token in uh, uh secrets here you have to put that hf token and once you do that it will be able to load it probably you have to load that it will ask you to load that is fine you can also pass it directly to here you know uh, api token you can just pass the token token equal to api token and you can delete the token later you can always create it we are almost done guys with now so simple so you have to use just two spaces one is this config.yaml generator and the other one is this gui okay this hugging face space which says merge kit gui the faster way to perform a model merge because you can just do that you can see model merge successfully uploading to hf running upload folder repo id you know the folder path it has the, this because this always create a merge right if you look at locally here it has created a merge folder inside the merge folder you have all your merged files that you need safe tensors now here you can see running upload upload folder and if you come back here it will take a bit of time guys if you come to my account you know uh, it's still not done because those are huge files right it will take a bit of time to to get that done and it will give you a status message over here once that is done now you can see something is there but i'm not able to see what's there okay uh, command exited successfully the model has been merged you now uploading to sf will keep keep loading this uh, i still can't see that okay let me come here llama 3 base instruct slope what's happening oh we have given the api key i believe yes so we have given a right key otherwise it would have thrown an error and yeah let's wait for a few minutes let me pause the video here guys it's just becoming lindy i'll come back once this is done and you can see the model the merged model has been pushed to uh my hugging face repo guys you can see it says process completed successfully 
model successfully uploaded to HF SQMA Llama 3 base instruct slope. Now you can find it out over here. Here is your model that you have. Now you can run a lot of evaluation benchmarks, guys. I would recommend you should you know run uh, evaluation benchmarks and see how it had performed. Now if you look at files and versions, you can find out your merged model. You can see it's almost combined around 15 to 16 GBs of file that you see it over here. You know, if you combine all this together, come to model ca card and you'll find out model size, which is eight params, eight billion parameter, you know, tensor type BF16, safe tensors, blah, blah, blah. And you can find out merge of this model. It already created a model card, but you can also run this programmatically. You can see the model card has been created. And once you run this, it will push it to hugging face. I'm not running it because I already have it here. It will just be duplicated. So I'm not gonna do that. Okay. This is what I wanted to, to show you guys how you can use GUI, merge kit GUI, because that's the new future feature. And I know that you want to learn this how to merge model. Keep going here, you know, with the research paper and their documentation of different merge method if you come here on their hugging uh, their github repository they talk about different merge methods now if you want to do multi-modal you have to look at task arithmetic ties data ties or you know uh, model stoke these are the different methods but we have went ahead with slope which only you know uses base uh, base model and can only look at text based model as of now okay that's what that that's what we have been looking at now if you have any thoughts questions or feedback please let me know in the comment box i'll give these links in description probably i'll also share you this notebook let me just download this if you need it here you can just download ipnb that's all for this video guys let me know what you are doing with merge kit and uh, what kind of performances you achieve with this uh, amazing framework or tool if you like the content, please hit the like icon. And if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in future. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.